Hi there, welcome to Kilobits. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 2.5 gig NIC. It's a USB 3.0 NIC and I got it from eBay. I can't remember how much for now. So anyway, let's open the box and see what it is. I'll put the price there. Comes with an instruction manual. Cool. And the actual doodah itself. And nothing else. Cool. Why send me junk that I don't need? Huh. It's got metal USB end. That feels solid. That's metal as well. Yeah, it does feel solid. Nice. So um, I'm going to test it on Windows and Unraid. I will probably end up using it with Unraid. But I don't know for certain that it works with Unraid. So there's only one way to find out, really. Um, they also do a 5 gig version. Though five gig ones um, over USB, they tend to be limited by the USB 3.0. Um, I suppose potentially they could be working on a USB 3.2 version or a Type C version, and that would not limit. But yeah, most of these are limited by the the USB 3.0 standard so anyway back peel interesting that's this huh it's trapped there you have to break it okay fair enough peely 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 is there another one there it looks like there's another one there oh oh yeah there you go so first i'm going to just see what it's like in Windows, though I may have to mess about with some um, LAN cables because it's all cable managed through there. So that's lovely, isn't it? Anyway, you'll you'll join me in Windows in a second. So my neighbour came round and wanted a favour. I don't know what changed in the meantime, but I unplugged it, plugged it back in, and there it is. So it seems to work. So here we are in Unraid. Not entirely sure of the best course of action. So I'm aware there may be some of you screaming at the display going, that's not the right thing to do. But I'm going to see if I can't fum fumble my way through this. Right, so we definitely have two ports visible. So that is good. I'll just stop the array then. <coughs> la -dee -da, -dee da I'm not very talkative today. I'm having a bit of a lazy day. I apologise if there's big gaps. I'm really tired. I've been very busy. I had to stop recording just then and pop over next door and mend a TV as well. Well, an aerial. Wasn't a big job. Anyway, uh, so, first problem I'm going to have is not knowing what IP it is. Yes. Get yourself an IP address. That's the first thing we're going to need is an IP address. Okay, that will help. I'd imagine that some of this is left over from when I ported this from the Threadripper system across to this, which had multiple Ethernet devices. The motherboard had three ports on it, whereas this only has one, so or it did only have one. I bore you with a complete setup, but what I will say is that um, 
it seems to work. It's definitely detected. So you haven't got to do anything amazing to get to get it to work in, in Unraid. Uh, what I'll do is I'll update this in uh, a few days. Uh, there's no point in me telling everyone it's amazing and then it overheats or something because there's definitely a few out there that will overheat. I've seen um, Serve the Home talk about some other ones and uh, that's what led me to believe that the brand StarTech, which this is, is uh, good enough to trust with some of their other devices. So, because I can't get the ones they talked about in the UK at all. They've just got a slightly different model. So, yeah. I'll test this out. I reckon two and a half gigs is going to be just fine anyway. I reckon that most people will probably get it right, but I wanted a reliable one, so I've gone with that one. It wasn't amazingly expensive. But yeah, I'll come back with my um, opinion in a few days, I suppose, so I'll see you then. So I was supposed to update this video uh, like a week later. It's been two months, two and a half months? So, I mean, quite a while. Um, kind of forgot about it, to be honest. I haven't done much YouTube lately. But uh, I went to see what videos I had still to edit. I found this and realised I'd done nothing with it. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, what I need to tell you about this is, is it's been flawless. Yeah, just plug it in, go. You're off to the races. No warmth from it. It's just sat there behind my uh, Unraid server with the power supply blowing warmish air on it. And it's not mr b at all um speeds have been pretty good you can get you know you can get a couple of hundred meg through it no trouble um yeah it's good